Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Double upload on the day. I wanted to start to talk to you guys about some questions that you had about some cards on FIFA 20 to invest in. And I talked about this time frame being a possibly great time to invest today or in the next 12 to 24 hours with the pre-order access opening up to people on the game no more time restrictions on fifa and that's rolling out across the world right now as we speak and a lot of people have asked you mentioned before that this is a great time to possibly pick up some cards that may be good for ones to watch investing and yes it probably is going to be a great time to do that as you saw today already the market has kind of dropped a little bit some of these cards um, that we're going to look at for ones to watch investments have dipped a bit so it does give you another opportunity and a chance to get in on some of these cards. Uh, Lozano, I was just looking at a, a couple minutes ago, he was actually at 16K, so he was a bit lower. He's risen up a bit now, but I'm not worried because the game has not come out in the UK yet. So right now I think the game is in, it's out in like Asia, in uh, Australia, and stuff like that, but it's not out yet in the UK. By the time this video goes live, it probably will be out in the UK, um, but basically what I'm talking about here won't be changed. The best time to buy some of these cards is going to be within the next 12 to 24 hours depending on their price movements so i just want to get this theor theoretical thinking uh in your guys's hands so that you can be ready to go uh for this time period so we're talking ones to watch gold card investments now there's tons of options out here of cards that we could look at um obviously we have some guaranteed ones to watches and some non-guaranteed ones to watches and there's a huge difference but in investing with these cards on our sell times depending on if you want to risk it or not so obviously as we've talked about before we have some confirmed ones to watches already those would be pepe joe ellington joe felix juan bisaka thorgan hazard eden hazard holler and jovic so all of those guys are guaranteed ones to watches already um, confirmed in a trailer that ea put out a couple weeks ago when they were uh, advertising the game, basically. So we know that these guys already have ones to watches. Does that mean that we can invest in them? Sure, it absolutely does, because people will still buy these cards for their teams, uh, and they will increase, and people will invest in these cards, and they, again, will go out of packs. But um, for some of these cards, I think the move is to sell in the hype. For cards that are guaranteed a ones to watch, I think your best move is to sell into the hype on Thursday, the day before these cards actually get released into wants to watch so pepe right now i think is like 68,000 coins somewhere around 70k he's dipped down a tiny bit as most cards have today um but i see i have 30 minutes left in my ea access trial right there i don't know if you can see that on the screen we're cutting it close on ea access um to get this video out to you guys but some of these cards are guaranteed once watches. The best time, yes, you can pick them up when they dip in price because they're still going to be in packs today when everything is rolling out uh, for pre-order access and people continue opening packs. They're still going to be in packs um, for today. But uh, you're probably going to see their prices rise up into Thursday. So if we get, on, get in on them now when most of the packs are open right away, uh, when the pre-order release comes out, a little bit of a dip in the market. See Pepe 67K. Um, if you get on them now, you'll have an opportunity to flip them Thursday. But the, the thing is with these ones that are guaranteed, in the years past, when ones to watch actually comes out, those card prices don't go up. They actually go down because a ton of people have already invested in those cards. I'm thinking the uh, this guy, Joe Ellington, has been invested in a lot already. I think he's around like 1,400 coins, 15. Wow, he's rising up. 5, 1,600 coins for this card. Just a couple days ago, he was eight, like 800 coins, 900 coins. So I think a lot of people are investing in this gold card. He is a decent starter striker for FIFA Ultimate Teams. But again, that's all he is, a starter striker. There are plenty of other starter strikers out there. So again, this is a card that you're going to want to invest in uh, if you get a decent price on it. I'm going to say like 1,200 coins. If he goes back down to 1,200, I'm going to say that's a good spot for him. Um, and you might be able to sell that for 2,000 coins on Thursday as people buy up his card because it's going out of packs. But again, the sell time is on Thursday because last year I showed you guys graphs earlier. We can actually look at it now if you would like to. Um, we're going to go look at Mares from FIFA 19. The cards that get ones to watches that have major increases in value, they actually go down when they go out of packs because of the fact that everybody has invested in them. 
there's over investing and their card is already overvalued so look at Riyad Mahrez here last year he got a once to watch his card on this day that we're looking at right here today you can see it was 39k went down a tiny bit um, it actually was probably 35k like you kind of see stuff dropping a couple thousand coins today but then it started to rise back up and look at his highest point Wednesday and Thursday he was 55,000 coins on Thursday after being 38 on Tuesday so that's a big thing a lot of people are coming onto the game and they're on the game full time so a lot of the stuff is going to shoot up from today into Thursday so like you got to get on this in on this stuff pretty pretty soon Mares goes from 38k to 55k he goes out of packs but the panic selling ensues and he goes back down to 47 so yes you're still making money if you bought a 38 but he went all the way up to 55 and if you sold in the hype the day before which I think is going to be the move for all those guaranteed cards this year um, kind of like guys like Pepe, Joelinton, Jao Felix, Bisaka I mean those guys aren't even on the market so um, the, the the move for these guys is going to be to sell them in the hype so Thorgan Hazard here again is like 6,000 coins I think this is somebody that I'm going to be looking at a little bit more since I'm on a lower budget. I think I have about 70,000 coins in total. But his price has honestly gone up. He's 82 rated. Give me that one. Ah, it's gone. 82 rated, so he'll get in packs a decent amount. But it's a good card for an 82 rated right winger. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of pace. Uh, but if you are going to run maybe a formation to get some chemistry, and you could easily you could easily put him in center attack in mid. He looks like a great center attack in mid to me. Um if you mess around with some formations in game but this he's guaranteed a once to watch card and Jovic as well um, a lot of these guys are kind of cheaper um, obviously uh, Eden Hazard is very expensive I think he's a decent investment on Xbox for sure I think he's like 400 and something thousand coins on uh, on Xbox which is honestly disgraceful how much of a price difference there is between uh, Xbox and PlayStation 580 to 465 if you're on Xbox I think this is a massive buy at 465 he's going to go out of packs i think on ps4 he could go to 700 out of packs xbox i think he'd go to 600 so pretty good return on investment with that card right there um so those are the guaranteed ones to watch us i want to mention one thing about felix and about wami saka obviously there's something going on here with ea they're not updating their price ranges uh and i think this is because they're guaranteed ones to watches I would be very, very careful with these cards. Um, if they're not going to be in packs, they do get once to watches. I mean, these guys are pretty low rated. Wambi Saka is, I think, 79, and Jao Felix is an 80. So if these guys, if they get the price range update before once to watch, I would probably sell. And we might have an opportunity to buy back in because there's going to be a lot of panic selling on these cards. We saw it today with De Young's inform. And it was some of the informed price range updates today. So De Young, right here, uh, let me get that card again. De Young's inform today was extinct at 100 and at 120,000 coins with his price cap. Look at now, he's 150,000 coins with the panic selling kind of starting to stop now. I bet his price will rise a little bit uh, out of this slump now. Uh, but he was going. I saw one pop up for 135,000 coins. I bet this one's gone. Oh, it's still there. So there's definitely some panic selling. It happened with Mertens as well and Mane. Mertens was extinct at 300,000 coins, and now you can buy him on the market for 325. So his price went up. He got a big price range, but his price actually didn't go up that much because it was more of a people invested and they panic sold, tried to make their coins. They made a little bit of profit, but there's a lot of selling right away, and that could very I think that's going to happen with Juan Bisaka and with Jao Felix. And it could be a situation where those cards actually drop under 10,000 coins with all the panic selling that's going on because so many people have invested in them. And that could make it a good investment for ones to watch out of pack investing if they update those price ranges before Thursday. So that's something that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. Since those cards are extinct, that could create an interesting scenario. If they don't upgrade the price ranges before ones to watch, that could get intriguing. Um, I'm not sure what would happen then if those one swatch cards would come onto the market and be cheap, and then all of a sudden we have gold cards that everybody's invested in. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. So if, if we, I'm hoping for a once to or for a price range update for Felix and Wambi Saka. Hopefully, like on t t like as soon as possible, Tuesday or Wednesday would be awesome from a trader standpoint. But maybe they won't do it because that might be good for traders. But it is what it is. So I want to go next into 
non-confirmed ones to watch is, and this is where more of the money is from last year. You think about Higuain from last year, 30K at this time period. Now he went to 60K out of packs because, I mean, he was a once to watch candidate, but he wasn't somebody that was guaranteed. When there's not guaranteed, there's less investing and um, there's more profit to be made because there's less people investing in that. That's how I feel about Griezmann. Uh, I think Griezmann is a fantastic buy. 250,000 coins for this card. If you are somebody who has a million coins, even 700k, please buy one of these and, and stash it away. Out of packs, I have n nothing that tells me he cannot be 350,000 coins or 400k in that week after. I think Griezmann's a fantastic shout for an out of packs wants to watch investment, and I think he's almost guaranteed as well. Move, moving to something maybe a little bit less guaranteed, but honestly a very good shout still. Kaylor Navas transferred to PSG, 87 rated goalkeeper. Doesn't have the best stats, doesn't have very good positioning, but he's got good diving and reflexes. I'm not sure what the OP stats are going to be this year um, for, oh, a little cheeky snipe there. We'll see if we can get a get a little profit on this guy. Listen him up for like 16, 750 or something. Um, I'm not sure what the OP stats are going to be this year on goalkeepers, but this is going to be something to watch. Another one? Oh, let's go. Another one at 15K. What's going on here? We'll take these little profits. I'm sure somebody's going to want their Kaylor Navas at 16.5. Um, but he is a transfer. He is one of the biggest goalkeepers to transfer. I think it's between him and Neto uh, for your possible transfers to get ones to watches. So I'm a little bit interested in those two guys. As goalkeepers, they're high rated. I think one of the two gets in. Not both. I just think one of the two. But those are good shouts. Um, De Young, I think, is a good shout as well. I don't know uh, if him getting a team of the week is something telling us that he's not getting a ones to watch. Not sure about that. I don't think that really confirms or denies anything either. But it is a possibility um, for that card. Another guy that's kind of on the fence, I would say, is Coutinho. His price is inflated already because of a possibility to get an inform this week, so I would not invest in this card as people are investing in him right now because of his inform potential. If he gets an inform, I would say that probably means he's not getting a once to watch because EA knows that if they give somebody an inform and a once to watch in the same week, that inform is going to go into packs on Wednesday. It'll be out for two days. It'll get a once to watch two days later, and that inform will only be in packs for two days, creating a very rare card in the market. Maybe EA doesn't mind that. Maybe they do, especially if it were to be a position change Coutinho, which I think it would be, to a center attack and mid card. So that would be a very high value card. And if it's only in packs for two days, that could be very interesting. Uh, but now moving on to some of the other guys that I think are very possible to get once to watch is Ndombele. Uh, 22,000 coins, I think, right now. 23K. He's up a smidge from what he was earlier this morning. I think he's almost guaranteed to once to watch. If you, if you look at the cards that are guaranteed once to watches right now, they're all low rated from the Prem, and there's a lot of La Liga guys in there. Hazard, Jovic, uh, and Jao Felix, all being from La Liga. But in years past, there's always been eight or nine once to watch players that have been released. So I think Prem has to get some once to watch players out of this. And Don Bailey is still kind of low rated at an 81, but I think he's a good shot to get in. Another guy that I think is a very good shot to get in from the Prem is Rodri. I think I would almost say that he's guaranteed to get in, certainly because of his higher rating. He was a big transfer, uh, and he's Manchester City. I mean, we got um, last year, we got Mares from City. Um, that's one with a uh, chem style on it right there. That might be a good buy to flip with a shadow chem style. Is that one still, is it a still up? Yeah, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this, uh, and we're going to see how that works out. We're down to 3,000 coins, but I think that that'll be a good card. I'm just going to flip that one right now. But I think that would be a really solid card to invest in for a ones to watch that could go out of packs because uh, CDMs in the Prem, you have Fabinho, Fernandinho, and um, and Rodri. And uh, both of those, look at this. Oh, we're going to make some coins on this one. 34K is the cheapest Rodri with the shadow. So we're going to list that up for 33. But Rodri is significantly cheaper than Fabinho, which I think is his... Um, a very good comparison to him. When you compare those two cards in price, uh, there's a big difference between them. And I think that that could uh, be a reason for possibly getting this guy a once to watch and making his card rise. I think his card will rise anyway, but him getting a once to watch I think is very likely, which increases his value. Um, so there's another Premier League card that I think could go. 
Speaking of Premier League, since we, st I still think we're low on Premier League, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if Cancelo got in. Back-to-back -back years in a row, getting a once to watch. He's 55K. This would be definitely a bit more of a risky investment, although it would be a good investment just to rise for being a Premier League card. I think it would be a bit more risky because he might not go out of packs and he could get hit with some, some supply. He it's him and Walker at right back in the Prem, both City. Uh, but I think Walker is the more, I think more people are going to want to use Walker. So we'll see. Cancelo could be a decent investment as well. Um, and then moving on to some cheaper ones. I think Lozano is basically guaranteed. I, wanna, I don't want to say 100% because obviously I don't know what they're going to be doing. I think Lozano is basically guaranteed. I showed him earlier. If you can get this card at 16,000 coins on PlayStation, I think that's a great shout. Um, for that card, he could easily go to 30k out of packs, being one of the only right wingers in that league, uh, especially with his pace and his hype. He's been a FIFA legend for multiple years now, especially from FIFA 18, but even in FIFA 19, he had some good cards. So that's one to look out for. Another one to look out for from that same league is Delict. I don't hear a ton of people talking about Delict, but he has a pretty solid card. And if you're looking for a more budget center back in the Serie A, he's kind of your guy. So Delict, I think, is very possible to get a once to watch. And he's, again, a higher rated those guys that we looked at that are guaranteed already, they're pretty low rated. So I think the Lick would be a good uh, higher rated option. Very good chance of getting in to ones to watch. Kind of a headliner for sure. Just made the uh, best awards uh, team of the year. So he is in the team of the year. Uh, we'll see how that affects team of the year promotion coming later this year. But then some other ones that I can rattle off to you guys that are very possible. I think Brandt has a good shot of getting in. New transfer to Dortmund. I think I think uh, Dortmund will get two ones to watches. Obviously, Thorgan Hazard's guaranteed, um, but I think Brandt could get in as well. Twenty thousand coins. He's very comparable with Havertz, and he's a bit cheaper than Havertz as well. So, I think a lot of people are uh, liking that card right there. But again, for all of these cards that are not confirmed, um, especially the guys like Brandt, Delict, uh, Cancelo, and um, a guy like maybe Rodri as well. They're probably going to rise anyway just because they're good for starter teams. They're, they're cards that people want in this game. And they're very attainable at their prices right now. So I think that they're going to rise regardless. So yes, you, if you get somebody like Rodri, you might invest in him. You see that he's up 10k by Thursday. You're thinking, okay, I'm just going to take the coins on this card and sell. Um, that might be a good option as well. The safe day for all of these ones to watch investments to sell, the safe sell day is Thursday, the day before the full game release, because obviously if they don't get a ones to watch, their card would still be in packs and it could get hit with some supply. But um, if you want to hold on to them with these guys that are not guaranteed, those are the guys that will give you the best bang for your buck when they go out of packs because they still have value in people's teams but they also are not very, um, they're not on the market. So that's what I wanted to say about that. The guys that are confirmed, Pepe, Joe Ellington, Felix Bisaka, Thorgan, uh, both hazards, Holler and Jovic. Those guys you want to get out on Thursday for sure. The other guys you can sell on Thursday, or if you want to test your luck, you can sell them on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of the next week would probably be the best shout for them as they continue to rise up as they are out of packs. Jovic is another one, obviously a guaranteed ones to watch. We're sitting right around 6K, which isn't too bad for a striker card. Not sure how he performs in game, but he's got the five-star weak foot. Um, good finishing stats as well. So if you, if you guys have used this card, let me know if he's good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you about these ones to watch investments today because it's very important, very popular way to invest. Um, and I wanted to make you known of some of the market movements around some of these cards. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.